Hey guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV. I just snuck into Q Labs, <laughs> Samsung Q Labs, okay? This is their underground layer where they develop all their cool stuff. And I just found this 115 inch QN90F. This is incredible. And I also found this guy. Come on over here, man. Hey, yeah, come on. I don't want to get you in trouble or nothing, but this is my guy, Farcon. <laughs> He's going to help tell us about this TV because the last time I saw it, it was only 75 inches and now it's 115. What did you guys do here? Yeah, no, actually, uh, I don't think you're going to get in trouble because we actually just announced this TV. It's a 115 inch Q90F. It's, uh, what did biggest... I call it earlier? Uh, be before we only went up to 85, what, 98 did I inch say TVs. Q9, QN90? QN90F. Oh, QN90F. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's super uh, big TV and yeah. the sports are one of our pa most powerful processor NQ8 Gen 3. Mm -hmm. That gives us uh, 144 hertz to power all of the content there. And if you see the picture, even on a super sized big TV looks super crisp. That's thanks to the AI features are working in the back. And then also our Samsung super sized picture enhancer feature, okay. which basically takes pixel size into consideration and optimize your picture based on that. So it's doing all this as we're talking and watching it. It's optimizing the picture, stretching out pixels and stuff. In real time. In real time. That is super cool. So I'm noticing this, I got lights overhead, but I don't see the reflections in the TV. So it, it, it has that anti-glare screen as the, the smaller version does? Yeah, absolutely. So just like rest of our series, the glare-free technology that we optimize for the QN90 series is applied on a 115 as well. So I guess what you're telling me is, this has all the same Samsung goodies packed into it that the one I love has. All the bells and whistles. It's just now I need a bigger room to put it in and a little bit more money. Well, the optimal <laughs> viewing for this one is 11 and a half foot, so which is not feet. that big if you think about it. Okay. So if you have that space, you can definitely have an immersive experience at your home. That is awesome. I cannot wait to do some gaming on this thing. I think earlier you talked about Xbox gaming with a physical Xbox, but these have that yes. built in. Absolutely. So it does have our Samsung Gaming Hub built into it. So just like any other Samsung Smart TV, Gaming Hub comes right out of the box. All you got to do is connect it to the internet, sign in with your IDs, and boom, you're connected to all your beloved Xbox games. Okay. There was one other thing that you told me that I was really impressed with. Updates. Yes. So Samsung promised seven years of OS updates. So once you buy this TV for the next seven years, you can be assured you'll be getting constant updates. So any new features that we come out with in the future or in the next within the next seven years, mm -hmm. you will have it right away. That's really good to hear as a consumer. I don't know about you guys, but I hate it when I buy something and then the hardware is still good, but it's like they've updated the software and you can't get it because you have last generation and then you're all mad because now you got to go buy the new thing to get the new stuff. But we don't have to do that. Don't anymore, have to right? worry about that. Seven years. You think you can hold on to a TV, 115 inch TV for seven years? I think I could. You want, you want to try it? You gotta uh, take this one. Well, we might need some help, but I think we can definitely Dude, try it. We've got guys in black coats and sunglasses out there. We're gonna have to move fast. All right, man, you get that side. Okay, come on. Dude, Farcon, get, get in here, man. Dude, we just loaded that 115 inch uh, QN90F, but I came back in here to get you, man, and you were standing in here looking at this thing. What is this? This is world's first micro RGB TV. Micro RGB. 115 micro RGB TV. 115 inches of micro RGB. That is correct, sir. Okay, just make sure I heard that right. Wow, it is the world's first, huh? It is the world's first, huh? Dude, this is beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. So what makes this TV so special? I mean, RGB is RGB, right? Absolutely, but at Samsung, what we did on the TVs uh, on this one is that we took a traditional mini LED TVs and we completely re-engineered the back and light structure of it. So in a typical LED, you'll get a white or blue light that will come through some color filters and whatnot, go through LCD panels, and then gives you the pixels. In this case, we're starting right from the basic light elements, red, green, and blue. So by the time picture gets to the to your eyes, it's in its purest form, giving you 100% BT2020 color gamut. 100%? 100%. Okay, I ain't seen that one yet. Okay, so we're getting all of the colors here. Yes. All right, so I got a camera going here, and I actually had to turn the brightness down to zero. Where's that remote? Let me go over here. I got to show you guys this. Oh, man. 
All right, so let me hit the settings button. Can you can you come on over here? I, I just want to show the people this, man. All right, so get in there. That should focus. You see that brightness level right there? Can you see that? All right, so that's 0% brightness. I'll crank it up if you want me to, if you think I'm lying, but now you're probably looking at a bunch of white light, right? That is insane. This thing get, uh oh, I'm messing up your, your footage here. Let me back out of that. I'll go back to the uh, brightness levels and tone that down a notch because I feel like I might be on like, like out there in the sun. Like that is a lot of brightness. But what I'm seeing here is lots of color depth, lots of contrast. Of course, the brightness is there, but it's a gorgeous, consistent picture all around. Yes, absolutely. So it's got our brand new processor called RGB Engine AI. Basically, it takes your traditional processor that we have in our TVs, adds some more elements to it to be able to fine tune red, green, and blue in colors individually to give you the pure color accuracy you see here. Well, it's doing whatever you just said that was, it's doing it. I can see. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's a cool graphic right there. So this thing sits on two feet. I'm glad it's not on a pedestal because this TV probably weighs 180, 200 pounds probably? Roughly around there. And but then it's... the stands do uh, are adjustable. So if you do want to bring them a little bit closer, they can come closer as well. So depending on your preference. And I'm assuming it's wall mountable because it is thin. It's big, but it's thin, okay? 1.4 inches thin. Are you serious? For 1. 115 inch TV, Dang. the maximum thickness is 1.4. That, that is super slim for such a massive screen. With so much technology, man, this is incredible wall mounted though i would if i had this in my house wink wink mr samsung wink wink i look like i got a tick right but seriously mr samsung if i had this in my house i would wall mount this thing right here and then you got the q 990 f soundbar sitting here oh man this is just a wonderful setup absolutely it's a great pairing with the soundbar i've actually heard the soundbar it sounds phenomenal and it's a great pairing with this tv and you, oh man, I heard something about the sound of this thing. It has like AI sound tracking because it kind of moves yeah, throughout so the screen. Yeah, so like some of the other Stevies that we, that we talked about, uh -huh. this got full bells and whistles, meaning it does have our object tracking sound plus. Okay. So it takes advantage of the 70 watt 4.2.2 uh, channels. Okay. And as the object is moving across the screen on this gigantic real estate here, the sound travels with it. And this is big enough to actually like experience that as it's moving, you can see or and hear something move up and down or across the screen. That is Absolutely. crazy. Absolutely insane. It will make you turn your head. So um, I know we just put that that other one in the car. Do you think you, you got, you got more left space? You just, I, I can't do both, it, it's the suspension. <laughs> so how about we swap them out? So you get that side and I'm gonna get this side. Okay. Come out got with it. your hands up. Officers are on scene. 